click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the reaction that is the action of that is acidified K2Cr2O7 on hydrogen sulfide and now in this topic we are going to talk about the reaction of acidified K2Cr2O7 on sulfur dioxide. So what is the reaction and what is the color change that is what we could observe. This is what I am going to talk about in this topic. So friends, whenever K2Cr2O7, that is K2Cr2O7, that also in an acidic condition, that is in presence of H2SO4. And whenever it is reacted with sulfur dioxide, that is SO2. So in that case, basically I am balancing the reaction by reacting 3 moles of SO2 with K2Cr2O7 and H2SO4. Therefore, the product that is what we could get is K2SO4, that is potassium sulfate, along with that of the byproduct that is what we could Cr2, SO4, thrice, which is known as chromic sulfate along with that of that is H2 as a byproduct. So this is the potassium sulfate that is what we have got and now in this case K2Cr2O7 which is acting as a good so that will oxidize the sulfur dioxide so as to form H2SO4 and that is what we could get that is this Cr2O7 which is acting like a good oxidizing agent it will reduce into that is Cr2SO4-3 and the color change that is what we could observe is this is what we understand that is this is orange red color solution and after the reaction has occurred this will turn into a green color solution which indicates that there is a conversion of Cr to O7 2 minus ion to the Cr2 SO4 thrice molecule and this is what we could get that is a color change and this is the reaction. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have got this reaction very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.